Just imagine, you look like this. But instead of seeing you as the beautiful person that you are, AI thinks you're this. That is shocking, insulting and, like Facebook put it, an unacceptable error. Plus, a computer error like this could have real-life consequences for you. Racist algorithms? Just recently, Facebook's AI got it terribly wrong when it put the label primates on a video of black men. Here's what happened exactly. UK tabloid Daily Mail published a video on Facebook that shows a white man calling the police on some black men. Underneath the video, Facebook's automated recommendation prompt asked users, do you want to keep seeing videos of primates? So, the AI that is used for an automated prompt like that mistook the black man for monkeys. Facebook apologized, disabled the recommendation tool and admitted that while we have made improvements to our AI, we know it's not perfect and we have more progress to make. Indeed. A similar field that has a lot of room for improvement is facial recognition. While picture recognition AI interprets photos and videos to find out what they show, facial recognition can identify people and even analyze emotions. Picture and facial recognition have been wrong in the past and especially racial bias is a common problem, unfortunately. For example, in 2015, Google's Photos app labeled photos of black people as gorillas. And only in May this year, Twitter admitted that its photo preview algorithm crops photos so that rather white faces appear in the preview than black faces. Being labeled as a monkey as a person of color is obviously insulting enough, but the problem doesn't end there. Facial recognition software isn't only being used on social media. Even law enforcement uses programs to catch criminals, for example. Last year in the US, an innocent black man was arrested because the police's algorithms matched his photo with that of a shoplifter. Except for a similar skin tone, the two men didn't look anything alike. So, a wrong decision made by an AI can potentially get you arrested. And flawed algorithms in general can have an effect on your credit score and your access to healthcare, just because of a darker skin tone. When it comes to facial recognition, several studies have shown that white middle-aged men are most likely to be identified correctly, while black women are most likely to be misidentified. So that's gender and racial bias. Last year, Amazon, IBM and Microsoft banned their facial recognition programs from being used by law enforcement. They think their software should be improved and better regulated first. But how can algorithms even be racist? They are being trained to be. Machine learning for recognition software is based on huge databases containing millions of photos. So if especially people of color aren't identified correctly, it means that the databases didn't include enough photos of them. But if this problem has been known for years, why hasn't it been fixed yet? Activists argue there is not enough diversity in tech. Even though Google, Facebook and co are trying to project a multicultural image to the public, the percentage of POC is still very low. In short, algorithms aren't racist, but the programming methods behind them might be. That is something we must discuss in society. The possible negative consequences are just too severe. What do you think about facial recognition software and racist algorithms? Can they be fixed? Should they even be used? Let us know in the comments. See you again next time.